So with the final weeks of the season underway, we go back to Europe on the indoor hard courts and we go to the Vienna Masters or the Vienna Open coming up next week. It's a 500 event and we've got some big names playing, but we also have some names that have pulled out. Let's go have a look at the withdrawal list to start with. All right, so some big names pulling out of this one. Taylor Fritz, he's pulled out and he's also trying to get into the ATP finals. So that's going to be a big miss for him. Court has also pulled out. Medvedev, he has also pulled out. And Jordan Thompson has also withdrawn. So a couple of names there with Fritz and Medvedev who are trying to get to the ATP finals. More Fritz because Medvedev's all, all but there in that finals in Turin, but Fritz, big opportunity missed here, and hopefully it doesn't come back to bite him at the end of the season. Okay, let's have a look at the top of the draw now. We've got eight seeds in this one, and nobody gets a buy in the first round. Number one seeds, Zverev, he'll take on the wild card Schwarzler in the first round. Winner of that match will take on either Mickelson or Giron in the second round. Then you've got to qualify taking on Monfils. Winner of that will take on either Sonigo or the number six seed, Musetti, in the second round. Then you've got the number three seed, Dimitrov, taking on Zhang. Winner of that will take on either Mahach or Marajan in the second round. Then you've got the wild card, Dominic Team taking on Dadiri and of course team playing his final ever ATP event. Winner of that match will take on either Nishikori or the number 7 seed Draper in the second round. So a crazy first round there as well. That bottom part of the top half of the draw is really, really interesting. Of course, you got to watch out for Zverev. you got to watch out for Dimitrov as well. Both trying to get into the ATP finals or at least Zverev's in the ATP finals but Dimitrov trying to get there. Also got to watch out for Dominic Team. His final event, he obviously wants to do well here. He has played well here before, has won this event before so definitely got to keep an eye on him this week. Also keep an eye on Draper. Has been good at times this year. Of course, making that run at the US Open not too long ago. But also watch out for Monfils. Very, very dangerous even though he is the oldest player possibly in the draw. Maybe one of the oldest players at least. Definitely got to watch out for him. He can really cause some problems as one of those dangerous unseated players. Bottom half of the draw now, you've got the number 5 seed Tiafo taking on Nori. Winner of that will take on either a qualifier or Berrettini in the second round. Then you've got Hashinov taking on another qualifier. Winner of that will take on either Nakashima or the number 4 seed Paul in the second round. Then you've got the number 8 seed Poprin taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on either Kichmenovic or Navone in the second round. Then you've got Kaboli taking on Fakina. Winner of that will take on either Struff or the number two seed Demonor in the second round. There are a lot of players in this half of the draw that are trying to get qualified for the ATP finals. Of course, you've got to watch out for Demonor. In recent weeks, hasn't been playing, so starting to lose his grip on that top eight for the race of the finals. Tommy Paul, another one you've got to watch out for. Of course, he's trying to get in there as well. Punch his ticket to Turin. Also got to watch out for Tiafo. Very outside chance of making the ATP finals, but if he does have a couple of really good weeks, you never know. Also got to watch out for Poprin as well. You know, been really good this year. But I'll watch out for Berrettini. We know how dangerous he can be, and we're just waiting for him to get some more ranking points, so we'll actually see him seen at events like this, but definitely got to watch out for him in this draw as well. Could be really dangerous, especially early on for Tiafo in that section. So there it is. That is the draw. Not a massive draw on these ATP 500 events, and like I said, no one gets to buy in the first round, but let me know down the comments below. What are you most looking forward to in Vienna this week? I'm looking forward to Dominic Team. Let's hope he can go on a bit of a run to end the career. He's had such a great career. He's won a Grand Slam. He's made multiple finals. He's been high up the rankings. Really, really sh such a shame how his career is ended, but hopefully he can go on one last run in front of his home crowd. And a lot of players there trying to get to the ATP Finals as well, so this is a very important week for those players trying to qualify for Turin. There it is, Vienna Open starts on Monday.